Hey everyone, this is Nick. Uh, we're going to be doing another video today. Um, this time the piece is called Rain of Fire. Um, and this is sort of going to be accompanying... Uh, gotta fix the dimensions. Accompanying this uh, project I've been working on recently, which you I hope are familiar with at this point. Um, pretty much uh, the art description is pretty simple. It's uh, just supposed to look like Stone Rain from Magic the Gathering, kind of, but uh, obviously it has to be original. Um, but the idea is there. It's like a meteor shower or whatever. So I was thinking um, to make a painting where, uh, just get my gradient ready, where um, it's going to be sort of an upward angle and... Um, it's going to be kind of an upward angle. Oops, not this one. An upward angle with like a castle or a cathedral or something here, and then the, you know you're going to see the meteors in the background, and I don't know, maybe people running in the foreground. I haven't decided yet. I think it really is going to come down to how much time I have. But uh, before we do anything too serious, let's um, let's begin by putting down some uh, perspective lines, which is something that you haven't seen me do before. So I like to use an obnoxious color. I usually do white, but since we're going to be working in uh, monochrome, I can't really do that. So uh, got to use the. Um, okay, yeah, that works. I have to use the mouse for this, um, just because. Uh, well, if you use the uh, stylus, it's going to have. Oops, that's way too dramatic. If I use the stylus, it's going to. Um, fade as it goes, and I actually don't want that. Actually, uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe I don't want perspective lines. <laughs> I know I'm so fickle. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't. Know. I'll just do some shapes. How about that? How we? How do we like shapes? I like shapes. Let's do that. All right. So I'm gonna get out old 45, 48 here, and uh, let's turn down the opacity. Start painting. So, I think I want it to be sort of like this. Uh, I don't know yet. Um, I mean, I have an idea of what I'd like to see, but uh, I don't know how to implement it yet. Especially when it comes to tricky perspective. I did a piece a while back. Um, which I guess it wasn't that long ago. It was over the summer. Um, but it had a lot of geometric objects, and I spent, I don't know, hours setting up the perspective, and it came out really nicely. It actually looks like it was done in a 3D program, but I don't really want to do that again, so uh, let's let's not do that. Though, I'm not going to lie, uh, 3D programs are actually fantastic. Oh my god, next door neighbor is so loud. Um, <laughs> I know, I, I mention it every single time I do one of these videos, but it, it's always there. Anyway, um, 3D programs are great for establishing perspective really quickly if you're feeling lazy, um, or if you just want a good perspective, I guess, and don't appreciate my negative comments. Um, but anyway, for all you non-sensitive people out there, uh, you can use a 3D program to really quickly establish perspective. All I have to do is, you know, throw down some boxes, and by boxes I mean uh, you know, cubes. Um, throw on some cubes and uh, just, you know, mess with the camera, mess with the focal length, and boom, you're done. So it's win-win. The only problem is uh, you have to bring it into Photoshop, and of course you have to have the program first, and you have to be comfortable using it, but cubes are pretty easy. There's also like Google SketchUp, which is free. You can use that. I'm more of a Maya man myself, just because I never really got behind SketchUp. I always had access to Maya, so I never really had to use it. But um, I don't know. I I I did fool around with it one day, and I kind of liked it more than Maya. Don't tell anybody. The only thing is, I had less control, which is I mean, obvious since it's a free program. It's not going to be as well developed, but it was it was not bad. I'm I'm going to say you know to be fair, it was pretty decent. I haven't done 3D stuff in a, in a while now. I think the last the last thing I did in Maya uh, 
Jeez, I don't even know if I can remember. Oh, you know what it was? It was for Professor Shammy's course at SCAD. It was, uh... There were two things. There was a castle. Huh. Figures. And there was a uh, Soviet-era bunker, which had been repurposed by the Soviet government. And the idea was that it was sort of like abandoned for, I don't know, 40, 50 years. And then um, when the Soviet, or not Soviet Union, but when Russia became a, a threat again, when it became sort of like a superpower, they uh, brought back online all their old stuff, including these you know, forgotten bunkers. Okay, so this sort of... It's sort of cool. It looks a little bit like um, something from 2001: Space Odyssey <laughs> right now, but uh, we'll we'll see if we can't add some details to it. And I kind of really want to force the perspective more. I want this to be kind of I don't know jarring. I guess is the right word. If you mess with the perspective a lot, it can actually make the viewer feel uncomfortable, which is good for pieces with a lot of tension. And in this case, you know. I want it to be sort of like this hopeless situation of just um, meteorites uh, hitting the ground and destroying everything. Or not meteorites, sorry, I have to stop using that word. It's fire. There's no actual nucleus for these falling object, eh, not objects, but hot gas, whatever. You get the idea. Magic. Let's just say magic. Okay, so there. We now have our thingy. So let's have some fun. Let's save first. Um, oh, oh, haha. Gotta be careful what you save as. Just working on my W9s, so I had to change it up. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, this will be Rain of Fire. Underscore one. The reason I use this system, um, so I like to abbreviate my titles just because it's faster to type. But also, I use a a numeric at the end, usually or starting with O1. The reason it's not really that big a deal anymore, but it's sort of a convention I got used to where you work your way up O1, O2, etc. And then when you get to bigger digits, um, you know, like anything over ten, uh, your alpha, your alphabet, hey, excuse me, your alpha Bitization doesn't get messed up. Um, so that's why I do that. But uh, if I if I have over 99 saves, then there's something wrong. I know it's stupid. I'm just going to save it again. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's do a little, a little bit of the warp tool. Oops. Shit. Before I do that. Oh yeah. Are you feeling disturbed? I'm feeling disturbed now. A little bit of like an Alice in Wonderland thing going on here where it's all distorted. Dolly-esque, I guess. And the idea is that someone's like... I'm not worried about the background. I can paint that in later. Just in case you're saying, what are you doing? Your edges are all messed up. Um, the idea is that someone's like looking up Sort of like a fisheye lens. I don't know who sees this way, but you know what I mean. Um, and there's going to be this like giant looming castle over them that's going to be getting blowed up. I don't know. That might be too... <sighs> Why you got to be like that? That might be too much.
So that's a little bit dramatic. Um, might be a little bit too much. Yeah, that's probably too much. That's why I save all the time. Alright, so let's let's figure out a way to make this dramatic. Son of a bee. Let's find ways to make this more dramatic without having to go all crazy. Alright. I know that's not the most um, gorgeous fill right there, and I promise you this one's going to be worse. Yeah, it's pretty glaring, but uh, it's, it's fine. We can fix it later. We're just figuring out this painting. Paint, figuring out your painting is probably one of the more time-consuming parts, um, or at least it should be um, taking a, a lot of your time because it is very important. Um, I'm going to cheat. And by cheat, I mean use a readily available system. So what I just did is I um, I locked the layer using, what's it called, this guy. I can't remember what it's called. But essentially, if you toggle that, um, you will only paint within pixels constrained to that layer. So I don't, as you can see, I'm going blah, blah, blah. I'm not messing up anything. And the reason for that is that I'm only going to paint on the stuff that I have affected. Ta-da! Pretty genius. Pretty genius. So check that thing out if you get the chance. It's pretty useful. Okay. I'm going to save over the other one because I don't like where that was going anyway. What? No, don't save. Get out of here. Bam! Replaced. No one's going to miss you. Okay. Um, so let's kind of um, do a castle or wall, something, something. We're going to use a darkened layer. Why are you going to use a darkened layer? Well, because I'm going to use something that's not quite as bright, or it's not, sorry, not quite as dark as this one. But I, I don't want to go over it. So many tricks. So many tricks. It's all about the tricks. <laughs> I'm just going to stick back and look at this for a second. Mm. Well. Ah. Mm. Uh, okay. For a second I was saying to myself, this is really boring. This is going to be the worst piece ever. But then I realized um, that I can do some stuff to make it more exciting. So, yay for me. Just make sure that's about right. Well, that's a really steep angle. Perspective is crazy. Da, 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 da. That can't be right. Doesn't that, that look like a more correct to you? I'm gonna go with my gut on this. Sorry, perspective. This doesn't seem right. Oh my god, next door neighbor. I don't understand. So, my next door neighbors are extremely loud, as you know. Um, and uh, I used to get really upset because it was the kids who were doing it, but the father is just as bad. So, I guess I know where they get it from, but oh man, I, I can't stand it. it. Drives me absolutely insane. Loud. All right. What the hell am I doing? I just got so distracted. All right. Let's bump up the brightness a little bit. And uh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna go in a little bit and actually add a little bit of a curve. And the reason I'm doing that is just so it, I don't know, because it looks cool. I don't need to explain myself to you. But you're probably curious. Um, the reason I'm doing it is I'm just going to add a little bit of a curve uh, just so it makes it like it's receding a little bit at a 
more exciting angle. Nothing too crazy though. yelling at each other of course alright so um, I'm gonna make a new layer to paint over this why because I don't want to mess up this layer it's not great but it's something um, so uh, I what I realized is I want to do a series of walls in the front something almost like Escher like where it's just like tons and tons of towers and stuff and I don't know if that's actually gonna happen but it's definitely what's inspiring me right now man I could have copped out and been so lazy on this piece what am I thinking could have done like a distant landscape with little pinpricks falling from the sky. It would have looked sweet, would have taken 10 minutes, but no. I'm going to do a complicated architectural drawing instead. Because we all know how fun and fast those are. Who knows? Yeah, I will go back and do that if I get really frustrated. I just don't know. Alright, so uh, let's do. I want to do some more towers and stuff inside. Inside the perimeter, dark and only. Ha! Huh, I love that. It's so fun. It's like a get a jail free card. This castle is so stern. Looks very judgmental. Don't you think? Judgmental Castle? Uh, I don't like that very much. Ooh. I need to use another layer. I was hoisted by my own petard. If you don't know what that means, look it up. It's hilarious. Well, kind of gr uh, kind of gruesome actually, but it's still kind of hilarious. Plus then people will say, what an interesting phrase. Alright, so we're just doing some little walkways or something. I don't know. It looks cool. It's going to be like a arched um, I mean, I guess it's a walkway. It's like a kind of high rise -y walkway. got to Make this a little bit darker, but I can't make it darker than this. It's tough. Got to balance all my stuff out. It's all about aerial perspective, my friends. My YouTube friends. <laughs> what are people who uh, watch YouTube called? Like tubers or something? That's uh, they sound like potatoes or yams. Damn! Once again, foiled. There we go. All right, sorry, castle. Ugh. Just gonna give you a little bit of a haircut. Gotta match the perspective of the piece, yo. One thing that's actually really challenging is that perspective is kind of difficult to do, and it instantly stands out if it's wrong. Like, your eyes see it, and it's a split-second thing. It's just, oh, that's not right. So you have to be really careful when you're being an idiot like me and doing lots of perspective stuff. Oh, crazy. Isn't that crazy? comes out of the mist because it's a darkened layer. You think there's nothing there, but it's there. And this one I actually want to lighten a little bit, so this shouldn't have that problem. There we go. Alright, cool. Just a little normal layer. Ugh, oh, man, I can't believe I'm already doing fixer layers. I have to, like, I mean, I don't have to change it up, but maybe I'm getting too involved in my sketches. I need 
need to focus on speed. Speed is so important. Oh my god. Speed is what makes the difference between a great artist and a pretty good artist. In my opinion. Because um, the, you know, the great artist is going to get it done in half the time. <laughs> Darken another layer. It's sort of unfair um, that uh, Mike Darken Lim has such a cool middle name, and he can pretend that this layer type was named after him. Because my middle name's, I mean, I'm proud of it, but it's it's not like you know, it's not color dodge <laughs> or you know, hard mix. Nick hard mix K. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll make go by that from now on. Oh yeah, hard mix. I love his stuff on YouTube. It's great. Man, that'd be hilarious. Hilarious. Wow, that was pretty much invisible. Am I pressing the right button there? Huh. It was. That's that's crazy. Man. Okay. So this is a little uh, little lesson for all y'all out there. Um, sometimes you might think that your color is appropriate, but you forget your background is actually a little bit different. Like it's not quite tonally the same everywhere, and that can happen. So you have to be careful about how things are. Uh, I guess how how bright they are. A. And B. Uh, the color. Um, the colors they are because uh, you might actually be surprised like you can get away with making something that's uh, like actually green uh, look very blue if it's surrounded by you know red things or whatever um, um, so yeah color theory is very important of course I don't use that no, I use it all the time but it, it does make it easier if you use uh, large layers that affect things around them and what I mean by that is like if you're using color dodge layers or multiply layers, it can be easier than if you're just working with straight up painting. Because straight up painting, you have to be, I mean, you have to be aware of what you're doing more. Like when I do the layers, like bam, 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 done. Oh, look, everything got modified by itself. Whereas if you're doing painting and you're using one layer and you're actually just using the brush tool without any different layer types, you have to say, well, this is going to be surrounded by red stuff and I want it to look this way, but blah, 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 I need to adjust my colors. Um, okay, so we've got some stuff going on here. Um, I think I need to start doing crenellation soon. But I, do I want another castle -y thing here? Yes, YouTube poll. Imaginary YouTube poll says yes. It's going to be so light though. Oh. I know I'm eyeballing it and being so sloppy. Ooh, I hope that's right. <laughs> Look at me using perspective. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure someone out there right now is getting super pissed at me. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, this is gonna be tough. Oh, it's like disappearing. <laughs> okay, let me lighten this up a little bit. Oh no, I can't. Ah! But I can do something else. Aha! Da -da 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 -da. Big cheats. Didn't mean to do that. But, um. Oops. Actually, that worked out well. So, I meant to do that.
keep track of what's doing what because uh what is doing this exactly aha uh -huh. let's find out ah it's you it's you Let's do one of these. Nope, oh, just kidding. Gotta go a little bit lower. Oh, wow. Look at that perspective. Look how messed up my thing was. Can you believe it? I'm a little bit in shock, to be honest. It looked okay. But it wasn't. Alrighty, so that's a lot of stuff. For lack of a better word. I need to make this a little bit darker. Wait, what? What's going on here? What on earth is going on? gentle curve is getting ruined. That's okay. Posterity will thank me. What is going on next door? This is ridiculous. Even my dog is freaking out. And my dog is pretty relaxed for anyone who actually knows me. Um, he is maybe the most chill dog of all time. I mean, his name's Tibbles. Come on. Alrighty. Uh, let's do some crenellations for fun. And because we must. So, crenellations. How are we going to do this? Ugh. Correlations are pretty easy normally, but um, we're doing them on a correct. I'm actually gonna switch brushes. We're gonna do them on a or try to do them on a correct perspective, and that's when it gets tough. So I need to be very careful and use actually very strong brushes for this. Um, we're just gonna pretend that the craftsmanship on these castles is not amazing, and that will save us some time. They don't have to be perfect because uh, the builders weren't perfect. How about that? How about that? Here's another pro tip. Um, don't put something delicious in the oven when you start working because I have some barbecue chicken with uh, Sweet Baby Ray's sauce that was marinating overnight in a crock pot downstairs and I'm losing my mind right now. It smells so good. Deleted. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. What's going to be fun is later when I can go back and um, mess these up a bit, like remove chunks and put little weird spinnerets and stuff on. That's where it gets really fun. This stuff is kind of boring. This is like planning it out and adult stuff. 
just kidding. Um, but yeah, I this part is not that much fun. Probably not fun to watch either, so sorry about this. But I guess if you're watching these for this long, you probably are a little bit masochistic because there's a lot of downtime, I'm sure. I bet you could be watching Epic Meal Time or something else of equal craziness and having a better time. But you've come to join. Uh, you've decided to come and join me, so I thank you. Of all the multitudes of wonderful things you can see on YouTube, you chose to watch my tutorial videos, which aren't really tutorials. To be honest, they're actually uh, really just watching. They're kind of voyeuristic, really. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> now, you'll notice there's a problem developing, which I just noticed and I'm actually kind of upset about, which is I just made these really little. They look great. These are actually bigger, and if they're the same, you know what I'm saying? If the, if the, brook, if the brickwork is the same, on both these towers, uh, it shouldn't look like this. These should be way smaller, like little like pinpricks almost. So we're gonna deal with that, just not right now. But uh, it it will be fixed. See what I did there? <laughs> Sneaky. I fixed that part. I should probably uh, fix this too. What is that thing? I don't even know what that is. Oh, poop. <laughs> and, uh, let's fix this like this so na 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 ding fixed this is starting to look more castly okay so I actually was just thinking while I was talking and this is how I'm gonna fix this I'm going to scale this down considerably like so Copy and paste. And bam. Fixed. It's like it never even happened. It's like I planned the whole thing out. But we both know that's not what happened. And we're going to do it here. And I think, to be honest, for this part, I'll just do this one by hand. Because this is really great and all, but it's actually kind of taking a little while. So let's just do 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 do. Man, I suck. Hold on. Why can't I do that in a straight line? What is wrong with me? Huh. All right, hold on. Fresh start. Ha. Okay. Oh, whoops. That came out a little bit ugly. Oops. Ugh, get out of here. Okay. I'm 
there. Let your imagination do the rest. Okay, I'm so glad I fixed that. All right, um, let's continue, shall we? Now we got to be careful. These have to be bigger than these, so I'm just gonna. That's about the same. Let's just do it like this. <laughs> I sure, I'm sure you realized what I just did that was wrong, but uh, I'll fix it in a second. <laughs> Oh, it's a tangent. I hate tangents. Oh, that's an awkward one. All right, let's fix this monstrosity. All right, step one. Step two. Step three. This is the fun one, step four. Oh, yes, pro play. And uh, these are fine. Hmm. I'm regretting having done the wall that way before. I thought I was being so smart, but no. But no. It was dumb. That looks so weird, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Like it never happened. You and I know, but no one else. Just retconned my original sketch. Oh man, the smell of barbecue chicken is delicious and so not nice right now. Um, I'm gonna make a new layer on this just in case I mess up. Now we need really big ones for this one. Not as big as the one at the bottom is gonna be. That's gonna be huge. Ooh, it's close. Let's actually move these in a little bit. Bam. That's fair. And, uh, okay. Now the problem is we're going to have to go back and um, actually detail these a little bit more. So these ones it's fine because they're so far away. But for the ones up here, um, actually, ho ho, check this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that little fidgety guy. Shut up. And uh, we're going to, oh ho ho, oh yeah. Big cheats, super big cheats. And watch this, how awesome is this going to be? We're going to lighten it. Oh, just kidding, can't lighten it. Or can we? It's more than, oh, well, I try not to use the expression because my girlfriend is uh, very um, pro cats, but there's one, more than one way to skin a cat. Sorry, I had to say it. Alrighty. Not that I'm anti-cat, by the way. <laughs> Not to get all weird and offensive all of a sudden. <laughs> you know, I have friends. I have uh, at least five cat friends. Um, let's put some more crenellations up here. They look a little bit weirder up close, right? Let's actually go in and fix that a little bit because these are. Uh, this one's not quite lining up. Okay. That's much better. And you too. I just don't want that little lip hanging off. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. What was I doing? That's right. These are going to be huge correlations. So, boom, boom. 
boom, boom. Crenellations are actually really cool. Um, if I remember correctly, the point behind them was that uh, if you were an archer, you would take cover behind one while you reload, or if you're a crosswoman, and then you can pop back out, take a shot, and jump back in. Um, another similar invention or uh, architectural development was the uh, the arrow slit, which is uh, essentially it's a very narrow window, and from the front it just looks like a little slit. But from the back, it's actually um, kind of a I guess this, this large concave shape. It's uh, like a triangle, and the idea is that you can get a better angle to shoot from from multiple sides within it, versus this teeny little slit to get in. Very cool. If you ever get the chance to go see real castles, you should do it. Castles are totally sweet. Tell them Nick sent you. Uh, my favorite castle is actually in Poland. It's called Malbork, and it was the home to the Grey uh, the Grey Knights. Too much 40k in my life. Um, the uh, Order of Teutonic Knights who were a uh, crusading group. All right, how's this look perspective-wise? I think those are a little bit too deep, so I'm just gonna. Oh, don't you hate that? That's right. Before you do anything, when you're sampling, you always have to use the correct opacity, the 100% opacity. The reason is um, that you're not actually sampling what you want to sample. You're sampling what the cumulative effect of multiple layers is versus the true color or brightness or tone that you actually want to sample. So be conscious of that. Um, and. Uh, Oh man, this is a multi-layered one. Okay, so we're going to go in. This is pro, so seriously, watch this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to make a layer mask, and uh, I'm going to paint out using the mask the area behind. Oh man, that's sweet. That is sweet. So that is a triple-decker effect right there. All right, so we've got some nice, uh, some nice castles going on. Um, or I guess it's one big castle, really. Um, so let's paint in a little bit of an angry sky using some wonderful darken brushes. And uh, you can use these the way they are, but true artist is not going to just use them the way they are. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the brush tip shapes and uh, we're going to mess with the angle so that the cloud is actually like this. Actually, it's probably, maybe it's easier if we do it this way. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, so that it's over facing down. And we're going to blow up the scale a little bit. So, and uh, let's get a nice big soft eraser. Just sort of don't want it to be too strong, but the idea is that the behind the castle is going to be lit with a uh, fire, representing the courtyard and whatnot are ablaze. All right. layer just a little bit lighter like so so that it doesn't just break up and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a normal brush like so and I'm going to pretend like I'm tracing cloud outlines and uh, then I'm going to erase it like so and it gives it the effect that there's an inner glow to the cloud, or at least something being obscured by the cloud. And 
that's good because that's where the fireballs are going to be coming from. Get it? Uh huh? Makes sense. I'm just going to save. Um, and uh, we should probably start fixing some of the aerial perspective on the sides of the tower. So as you can see, this part, this part is lighter than this part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and therefore, and see this part's lighter than this part. So what I'm trying to say is that this part should be the same color as this part, and currently it's not. So let's do that. So we're going to grab this color, and we're going to first just drop it down. And of course this is going to have to be darkened as well. I think, well, maybe not. Alright. Boost it up. Blend it in a little bit better than that. Okay. Sweet. Actually, I think it maybe needs a little bit more, just to give it, make it pop a little bit. We're gonna artificially brighten it, and then we're, um, I guess it's actually gonna be more bright down there. So let's uh, let's do this, and um, we're just gonna go in. And add a glow in here. Okay, I just want to make sure my hardness was up because it didn't look like it at first. My little notch. Just little notches here and there to break up the perfect lines. The further away ones, we don't need to do that because that sort of detail would be lost. But uh, for these ones, it helps. See what I did there? Okay. Now you're probably saying to yourself that looks really strange right now, and you'd be right, because it's not done yet. I can't be more patient. <laughs> whoa, whoa, buddy. Alright. Can even probably bring it down just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be too noticeable. Now, this I'm actually having second thoughts on. Let me try bringing this down in brightness. No. This is weird. This is throwing me off. I mean, I know it's right, but it doesn't feel right. Actually, that can stay light, and that's that's fine. And uh, for the ones up here, it's not really going to be that 
distinct um, just because it doesn't have to be. So it's going to be, you know, like that. It's, it's really just a hint of it. It's not the full deal. Same here, but actually a little bit more so than before because it's getting closer so we can see more details, etc. Um, this is kind of really light. Huh? Or, I'm sorry, really dark. This is going to mess stuff up, but I'm just going to see what it looks like. If I lighten this a little bit. Wow, look at how big a difference 2 makes. Gotta fix my previous fix. And actually, you know, I am going to. Um, I am going to add the little uh, angles here because those would be visible. I need a new layer, dark end. It's going to be that color. Be at like 90. tough. I'm like walking this very fine line here. Because uh, I, what I really need to do is make an adjustment layer to boost the contrast between these because it's it's becoming increasingly difficult to uh, differentiate stuff. Because I, I don't have that wide of a band of things available. Of a, sorry, tones available. I know, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. I'm not doing a very good job narrating. See the problem I just encountered was it's no longer dark enough because the background got darker. So this is kind of really dark. I mean, I'm probably gonna have to go in and lighten this part. Let's do that. Yep, see what I mean? Like one, just one. That's all it takes. That one little bump. Okay. It's a castle. Um, what I should do. Oh, so many steps, so many steps. Is uh, go in here. Come on, eyedropper. Sometimes my Photoshop just like refuses to use its hotkeys. Super annoying. I don't know why it does it either. It's totally puzzling to me. Uh oh. Now I'm sure people, the more astute of you, will be saying to yourself, whoa! Look what just happened. It disappeared. And you'd be correct. So I've got to fix that like that. Okay, now seriously, I really need to start adding um, a new adjustment layer because it, it's going to be impossible to do this for much longer. Alright, so let's bump up the contrast. And a little bit of brightness. Cool. 
Save. Iterative save. Ba bam. I hope you're happy with that work, because now it's all locked away. Alright, um, I guess it's time to start doing some fireballs, huh? Fireball time, fireball time, it's time to do some fireball time. So, fireballs, how are we going to do these? Well, there's a couple ways I guess we could do it. The first is not like that. That looks like a laser beam. And uh, let's actually bring this down to like 60. Actually, that wasn't a total failure. Give me a nice guide to work with. It's actually kind of cool. It looks like it has a corkscrewy thing going on. <laughs> Not that much detail. This is a further one. Gotta keep myself in check. Okay, so I've got that one. Sweet. Well done. Thank you. Let's do another one. As you see, I didn't use my. What I did before was I clicked and then shift clicked, and that will. Um, essentially, it's a tip with the brush. Uh, it's a tool with the brush. What you can do is you can click, shift click, and it will connect the two. Um, it's very useful, but in moderation. It doesn't look right all the time and in, it doesn't always work right with custom brushes or at least it didn't. Maybe they, they updated it. So we're just going to do these little tier ones in the back. Little tier guys. Just little ones. Oof. Cracked my neck. I don't know if you could hear that. Now, of course, we're going to have to have at least one of them making impact, because otherwise people are going to say, well, that's nice, but I don't get it. Why is there nothing happening? So maybe like here we'll do it, just like whoosh, and then. And we're going to leave it just like that. We're not going to change a thing. Oh no! No, what we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of hint that there's bricks or stone that this is made out of and that they're shattering apart. And of course, these lines have to follow. What's that? Yes, the perspective. But they can't be. It's actually kind of tough because they can't be. Um, they can't be too straight because if you know anything about like brick or stone laying, you never leave straight lines like that. It's always you know a break and then whatever. It's never like just a straight line on the whole thing because otherwise the a column of bricks would just fall out if wind blew on the thing. We're, we're going to doll that up a little bit more. It's just a little bit tame right now. It just looks kind of like a super soaker headed or something. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to add debris all the way coming out here. And oh, dumb. I should have had it a little bit higher up. And wait a second. 
I'm not dumb at all. This is why I work on separate layers. Na, 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 na. Boom. Pro play. So if we trace this, it would be coming out here. So we're actually going to have the fireball coming through the wall. How cool is that? And we'll have the effects all the way out here. This will also help establish depth, because now we'll say, okay, this turret is definitely back there. Sweet. Um, that's very cool looking. But we can do more. Let's get like a really big, ugly one right here. We kind of cool as if like, I mean, there, it's just rain of fire. There's nothing explicitly about it. But if it was like they had faces or something, like you. Know, these aren't just <laughs> these aren't just fireballs coming from the sky. They're also malevolently guided. And um, I guess I'll right here. I'm gonna have a big chunk of this tower missing. Maybe that'd be cool. When the time comes, not right now. spiral. I don't know why. I don't know if I like it or not. I kind of like it, but looks like it was shot out of something like a railgun or something, something with rifling on it. But we'll leave it for now. We'll think about it more. Alright, so let's just stand back for a second and take a look. Um, okay, cool. So this does look pretty nice so far. Um... Does the castle need windows? Probably. Mm hmm. Probably. But not yet. I want to do this part first. So, how do I want to do this? Um. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I want a couple that are just, just starting to come out a little bit, but I haven't quite got out of the clouds yet. So that they kind of have that um, diffuse glow behind the cloud, like, oh, it's forming, I get it. Okay. Um, so let's, sure, let's just start like this, why not? Good way to start as any, right? Alright, so this is going to be missing. And actually, what would be really cool is if we did something like this up here. And we could, oh yeah, we could even, um, Even 
even do a couple more little crenellations like that so it looks like you can see through the tower where it was hit and of course there should be little pieces crumbling off Now, here's a good question, which is, I don't quite know how I'm going to do this yet. Should it be a dark hole, or should it be on fire? I'm guessing it should be on fire, so it should be bright in there. All right. But I don't want it too bright, and this is pretty crazy bright. Okay, so that's blocked in, but uh, I'm actually going to do that. Why, you ask? Well, I want a little bit more control over it. So let's put it on its own layer. What I'm doing now is making it look a little bit less random and more like the actual bricks are falling out. do this. Well, how about we do what we did over here, pretty much. Just, uh... uh -huh. We're gonna make this a light and layer. I'm sorry, a dark and layer. And we're gonna bring down the opacity to, like, 60. And what we're gonna do is sort of, like, do the, um, undersides of the rocks a little bit, if that makes sense. Or at least the part that would be facing the viewer. Know what I'm saying? Gotta put some perspective on them, otherwise they don't look right. Okay, so you get the idea.
this is going to be tough. I'm actually going to hate myself for doing this, but we're going to do a little bit of detailing inside the tower. Ugh, I'm already getting upset about this because it's going to take so long. Um, Alright, well, I guess we better get started. This is actually pretty tough. There's like a lot of not imaginary work, but I have to do a lot of kind of thinking ahead of where these would be. It's actually pretty difficult. It's a little challenging. And of course, the whole time I have to maintain perspective. Of course. And as you can see, I didn't right there, right? I don't even know if that looks right. I don't think that looks quite right. I think these should actually be tilted a little bit lower, like that. But you get the idea. This is this is not going to be a fun slash easy part. Devils in the details, so they say. I probably should have done started up here closer so that I could get a better idea of where the perspective was. But I wasn't thinking like that, obviously. What I should have done if I was smart is instead of doing a brick pattern, I would have just done random stone and I could have had these coming out any angle I wanted. But I clearly had to be all fancy and show off.
see why I was realized how stupid I was being. Oh Lord. taking a break from all that crap just to do these because they're fun see now this sort of stuff I can do all day and often do it's this sort of lavish planning stuff that's where I get hung up and it's still not quite right see because this should be like that We're just going to say this, the building's sagging a little bit. How about that, guys, right? Sagging building, common problem. It works for me. That or, of course, the other option, which is um, just start messing up all my lines so that it's clear I'm not using perspective on these and that they're all just sort of happen to be in yeah, actually that's what I'm going to end up doing I think because I don't have the time to do those like that so yes yeah, some of these were nice bricks but not all a lot of them are still just kind of thrown on that a little texture, a little underlining. It's actually making a big difference, helping this piece out a lot. Give a little bit of shape to these rather amorphous rocks. Alright. Do I think I've done my good deed for the day. I think so. I think that was enough. I'm just going to do a couple more of these up here just to kind of carry the pattern through. And by pattern I mean that the fact that there's a underlying structure. Um, that this isn't just a magical wall of perfectly flatness. Um, And what we're also going to do is we're going to make another layer. Wrong button. Come on now. There we go. Make another layer. And we're going to just, this is going to be the collapsing crud layer. And it's going to be lovely little samples from both sides that are falling in tumbling out. We erase parts of them to make it look like they're lit. But really they're not lit at all. They're just erased a little bit. And 
and we can even add a couple out here that are darker than the rest of the wall, signifying that they're closer to the viewer, or that they've actually tumbled outwards, if that makes sense. you all know what, uh, which brush is going to be coming up soon. And if you've seen any of my videos, you probably have a good idea. If you haven't, the answer is the shrapnel brush, because it's the perfect tool for this sort of a job. But not yet. Be careful of those tangents. Alright, cool. So this tower is not in good shape, as we can tell. Since we've just painted a big hole in it. Um, we should actually think of... Mm, I can't tell which is lighter. Wow, that was crazy, huh? Um... Because it would be cool if there was... I think this is actually the same color as the sky, if not darker. I'm sorry, if not lighter. So I can't... I can't really show something, because... Let's see, the castle would be like that. Ah, I can totally do it. Okay. Totally can do it. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to follow the line. Of course like this The idea here being that we can actually see the back of the turret, and we're seeing the castle behind it. That's cool. And let's uh, let's do some foyer. Oh, fire! You make everything work so well. All these little crappy things I was working on are just just work so much nice, more nicely when you've got. Really powerful uh, highlights going on. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to go too high just because I I don't want that to get lost because that's actually kind of really cool. actually have these on fire a little bit as they fall. Because hey, why not?
very slight, but I deem it necessary. We'll get a little bit coming out of here. Not a lot. Whoops. Meant to use this one. So I'm just sort of uh, adding a little love here and there. Nothing really that amazing. Just little glows and stuff. Help uh, isolate the shapes. Just so you can kind of see where things go a little bit better. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. I'm just kidding. I like to pretend like I'm really uh, pretentious, but um, <laughs> I I'm just kidding when I say stuff like that. That's actually a good place to. No, no, yes. Uh, we're approaching a good place to take a break because I could use one. I don't know about you. I've been here for an hour and a half or so. But uh, don't worry. There'll be more. I just need to uh, take a breather. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just adding some uh, rim lights on these to indicate the light sources coming from within. I'll add a little bit up here, but not as much. And it has to be on the downwards. So these guys get a little bit here and there. Oh, 
this is good too because it can help us define the outside from the inside. I'm really bad. I always say I'm going to take a break, and then I always just keep kind of like pushing a little bit longer, and then it'll be like half an hour later. I'm like, all right, seriously, though, I'm taking a break now, and then it doesn't actually ever happen. Just because I love what I do. I get really lost in the moment while I'm working, and I don't realize. Like, if you ask me how long I've been sitting here, I probably always said like 40 minutes or something, but it's you know, it's actually more like almost an hour and 40. It's an hour and a half. Top of these guys. Okay. Seriously, though, I'm going to take a break now. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching, as always. I always appreciate it. Um, getting some more views now, which makes me a happy camper. Uh, this is Rain of Fire. Uh, I'm going to be working on this for a while, um, but this is pretty good for right now. Um, I actually spoke with my, uh, well, the contractor, and, um, or, I'm not sure if that's the right term since I'm the contractor. Um, anyway, the person paying me. Um, <laughs> and uh, we have a very good repertoire, and I've been working on a bunch of these pieces already, and he's only actually ever suggested one change, so we're not going to have to do the sketch approval wait thing again, so uh, these videos should be coming out a little bit faster than before. But anyway, um, so we're taking a break now. Uh, as soon as I have an update, I'll put it up. Thanks for watching, and uh, I guess we'll join each other in part two.